For months, I believed Mitt Romney wanted to be president of all the United States. This week, we learned Mitt Romney only wants to be president of half of the United States. If Mitt Romney were president, he wouldn't waste time worrying about the 47 percent of Americans who he believes are victims, who Romney believes are unwilling to take personal responsibility. And those are his words, Madam President, not mine. He'll only worry about how the other half lives, I guess. That's what Mitt Romney told a group of wealthy donors at a closed-door fundraiser in Florida a month or so ago. But it turns out it wasn't closed. Someone videotaped every word he said to his wealthy donors. But this is, among other things, what he said, and this is a quote. There are 47 percent who are dependent upon government, who believe that they're victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, you name it, end of quote. Mitt Romney said his job as president would not be to, quote, worry about those people, end of quote. But half of Americans are those people. He went on to say, I'll never convince them, this is a quote, direct quote, I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility and care for their lives, end of quote. Madam President, who are those Americans Mitt Romney disdains as victims and those people? They're not avoiding their tax bills using Cayman Islands tax shelters or Swiss bank accounts like Mitt Romney. Millions of the 47 percent are seniors on Social Security who don't have Bain Capital retirement funds or inherited stock to fall back on. Many of the 47 percent are students reaching to afford university tuition so they can become nurses or teachers or attending a community college to become an electrician or a welder or a lab technician. Some of the 47 percent have disabilities whose challenges are already a full-time job, but still are actively seeking opportunities in their lives. Millions more of this 47 percent have been unemployed since the Great Recession, not because they're freeloaders or can't be bothered to get a job, but because some private equity funds close their factory and ship their jobs off to China. Large numbers of the 47 percent are active duty members of the military fighting for their country overseas. More of the 47 percent are veterans getting an education earned through dedicated service. Many of the 47 percent are mothers and fathers working minimum wage jobs, but still struggling, struggling every day. Others of the 47 percent are middle class families raising children with a little help from earned income tax credit and the child tax credit, a hand up Republicans once bragged about helping to enact and, by the way, signed into law by that liberal Ronald Reagan. The 47 percent are ordinary, hardworking Americans who deserve respect, especially from a man who wants to be their president. And these Americans pay a slew of other taxes, state income tax, payroll taxes, property tax, sales tax. But in Mitt Romney's view, they still don't pay enough. So let's ask a question. Whose taxes would Mitt Romney raise? Would Mitt Romney raise taxes on retirees who paid into Social Security all their lives and are counting on it to get them through their golden years? That's a question. Another question, would Mitt Romney raise taxes on mothers and fathers who work hard but still struggle to put food on their children's mouths? <coughs> Ronald Reagan thought there were certain people maybe he'd need a little help and shouldn't do that. I agree with Ronald Reagan. Would Romney raise taxes on middle class families stretching to afford diapers and daycare at the same time? Would Romney raise taxes on Americans with disabilities striving to live full and productive lives? Would Romney raise taxes on students stretching every dollar to afford tuition? Would Romney raise taxes on men and women serving overseas in the military who make untold sacrifices to preserve American freedom and democracy, not because they're getting rich doing it, but out of a deep sense of duty? So whose taxes would Mitt Romney raise? We know he wouldn't raise taxes for millionaires and billionaires or companies that ship jobs overseas. He's made that very clear. If you're a math teacher or a maid or a single mother, it won't be Mitt Romney's job to worry about you. If you're a multimillionaire, Mitt Romney won't rest until you get a quarter million dollar tax cut. That's what the Ryan budget does, and Romney likes that. 
For all we know, Mitt Romney could be one of those who have paid no federal income tax. Thousands of families make more than a million dollars paying nothing in federal income taxes each year. Repeat that, Madam President. Thousands of families making more than a million dollars a year pay nothing in federal income taxes. Is Mitt Romney among those? We'll never know since he refuses to re release his tax returns for the years before he was running for president. But from that one return, only one we've seen, we know Mitt Romney pays a lower tax rate than middle class families thanks to a number of uh, things he's done, Swiss bank accounts, Cayman Islands tax shelters. And we can only imagine what new secrets would be revealed if he showed the American people a dozen years of tax returns like his dad did. Mitt Romney believes in two sets of rules, one for millionaires and another for the middle class and the poor. If you have money to hide in Bermuda and Switzerland, can't you afford to pay a few pennies more to balance the budget or reduce the deficit? Mitt Romney says no. But if you're retired or poor, disabled, or a student, or even a returning hero who fought for your country, Romney believes you can afford to pay more taxes. This rare look at the real Mitt Romney, this rare look that we got from a man who was at a fundraiser for him, proves one thing. He's completely out of touch with average Americans. And if he won't stand up and fight for every American, every American as president, then he doesn't deserve to serve any American as, as president.